what's up with you? I'm back with another video. This video is to the is to the indigenous and aboriginal. It's not black. My hoodie is black. I'm closer to this color. A gold, copper, a gold. Definitely part of the golden race for sure. The most trials, tribulations, adversities, etc. But um I get what he's getting at though, but I'm not black. I'm not ignorant. I understand. I'm not black. I'm not your Negro. I'm not your um, African American, which is two continents. That's a misnomer. I ain't none of that shit. Can't no classless group of people classify me as such. I don't care if everybody else around me that's neuromelanated agree with it because they don't know no better. I ain't everybody. Everybody got to die, but I ain't everybody. I'm an ascended master. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Stop letting these people call y'all that, man. Come up with your own name of something. You come from pyramids, hieroglyphs, vermanas, monuments, obelisks. And you letting these people that literally did what they did to you call you a name and you took it and ran with it. And you don't even know why. Down to the jujitsu system. You a dead entity on the shores, the water, land, air, and wall. Lair, land, air, and water. Maritime law and all this. So it's like you don't know what to say when you in court and they get to fuck you over simply by these words and you actually agree with this identity. Y'all got to cut that shit out like coupons, bro. Come up with your own shit. We the golden, the chosen, God's chosen people with that fake ass group of people out there that's literally stole your identity and that's claiming to be God's chosen people. You the furthest thing from God's chosen people. God's chosen people is the most influential. God's chosen people go through the most. God's chosen people will whoop everybody ass if we start talking that kind of shit. And so on and so forth. So let's get straight into the video. It's a reason why I feel like it's so hard for you, so-called black man, indigenous, aboriginal, golden race. Stop letting these people call y'all black. When you when I cut this TV, when you cut the TV off, it's black. Cut the lights off and close your eyes. Void of color, no life. And then you calling them the opposite. My ring light is white. From the seven chakras in the spectrum up to Christ consciousness, the ultimate God, Superman, the good guy. You're calling them the good guy and calling you Dark Vader. You don't even know it. And some of them do the same as well and don't even know it. They history don't consist of anything white, righteous. It doesn't. In fact, everything in life is backwards. They call you one and they call them them. So just flip it. Rever reverse the roles. But let's get straight into the video. You know what we don't talk about a lot? I was thinking to, of my journey and I was thinking like... um of like how I've managed to like survive and get through this as a person of color. You know one thing I never stopped to consider? How hard it is that like, imagine a black man growing up in this world. I just think about it carefully. Your history has told you nothing. Every day. Some people can't fathom that. Some, you gotta, you gotta have walked the, the, along the lines in them shoes to even begin to understand. Some things got to be experienced by the individual. You can know when you in love. Can nobody tell you that? You can go and get an x-ray or whatever. They tell you your heart perfectly fine. But to you, it's broken and you get appetite off and you fucked up about it. It's a real thing. Everything ain't for... Oh, you got to prove it to us. Or, no, some things got to be experienced. Some people would never fathom that. They will never fathom it. They don't know what it's like to have a distaste, a disdain for something. You know the history, not history that's told by the victors, the real history. And you know a whole slew of shit, a whole ocean of things they've done. So imagine the other oceans, rivers, lakes, creeks, and ponds that you don't know that they did as well. And then you know that this colonizing, animalistic blood run through your veins and there's nothing you can do about it. It's involuntarily. And that shit disgusts you. You got sorrows, traumas, gifts, traits fetishes or whatever the fuck passed down from your ancestors due to what happened to them through epigenetic trauma, epigenetic memory. These people don't even have a biological identification to the planet, meaning that they can't tell you where they come from before this Christopher Columbus shit. And everybody said Carcass Mellons, right? So revert back to the... And then you paying rent to people that can't tell you where they from, but yet you everywhere. How you look, the sculptures, the hieroglyphs, Romanus, monuments, obelisks, in China, they everywhere. You... Indigenous Aboriginal to all land, not native, if you want to use that word. So they can begin to understand that. 
and then you see the pictures and you hear the stories the the silent weapons for quiet wars the willie lynch letter that's still in play and amplified and enchanted with more ways to attack you down to the land air and water the law maritime law your last name you don't you can't stand it come from slave master or some shit and english name your native tongue was stripped from you your identity it's a group of people out there claiming to be god's chosen people when they the furthest thing from it <sighs> propagating propaganda they controlling the narrative for the false perceptionalization of a of our people and a light that isn't in favor of us to what people got their preconceived notions of us due to how they depicted us how they advertised us to the world hold on my bad yeah, due to how they advertise us to the world and people pick up on it and they perceive it to be the way they intended them to see it. And it's relevant. Perception is reality. And it's a double entendre. How the light hits your lens and with your retina. That way and perception being reality. Like I can grow up in the hood with my brother and them. How I did. And they still see life totally different. But it's like we damn near walk up in the same shit. But it's different. Perception is reality. And the Yakuza understand that. That's why they didn't let you American film makers depict their people in a light that wasn't in favor of them. Because they understand perception is reality. And they made an example out of them Americans that try to make that film about them. They eliminated them. They're somewhere back in spectator mode. With no materials. So yeah, that shit real. That's the reason why the Mike Brown situations happened. Or the Trayvon Mars. They already scared of you. So it's so much shit. And bro, that's not even 1% of what I know, man. All that, all, it's not BS, but all that shit, I just see it, it's relevant, it's real. Like, And there'd be a lot of people like, why is you talking about that? Let bygones be bygones. You don't know a slave or a slave owner. In fact, everybody was once enslaved. Yeah, that's true. But still, though, the, the, the pain, the trauma, the adversities of what you up against. Man, it's it's worse than all y'all pains combined. And I don't even like to compare, compare pains. You ain't been around on the planet no longer than six or seven thousand years. Even your own scientists and biologists said that. And every other race, biologists and scientists across the world agree upon the same thing. You're the newest species on the planet. But yet you inhabit and own everything. Every media outlet. BlackRock, all this shit like. Knowing all this, bro. And it's not even two percent of what I know, man. But yet you get the Uish community they get the hold on to the holocaust like oh nope remember that so the history won't repeat itself so they keep ha hate crimes all kind of things to protect them and then the asiatic people as well as they should though or oh, hiroshima nagasaki so we ain't letting that happen so remember the history put that in forefront so it won't repeat itself i won't repeat myself i understand that but when people get to in ours is worse than everybody combined bro <sighs> so I could get into everything, to to Stiggy experiments, the Black Wall Street massacre, and that was just the one we know about. It was other good communities too that's so called black owned, and they destroyed them, drowned them, and didn't reimburse them. I wish I could snap my fingers like Thanos and all of the Golden Race know what I know. We a whoop y'all ass today. What you scared of? What I've heard that so called white people admitted to me as well that oh we know they laughing at us behind our back. Oh, honestly, they scared of the day that y'all wake up and embody who you truly are and you expect that eye for an eye. It's only right. The equal, the equal, your opposite and reaction, karma. The difference between me, I believe in the eye for both of your eyes. If you did it on purpose, you did it on purpose. If I can show you some leniency over the age of 25 on this Gregorian calendar, you've been over that. Your ancestors have been over that. And you still did what you did. I expect that. I believe in the eye for both of your eyes if you did it on purpose. And you want to know why I can price it that way? Because I'm the individual. You can say an eye for an eye. You entitled to that. I'm different. I'm minding my business. I'm doing my thing. Denzel, like from the book of Eli, I'm minding my business. I'm warning you, like, don't do that again. You hit me with a slingshot and knock my eye out. Now I'm Fetty Wap. I price point my eye. I say my eye is worth you and your kids. Now, that's how I choose to retaliate. You can't fault me. That's how I choose to retaliate no matter what nobody say. It's permanent. It's stamped. That's the difference. So just know that. And take it a step further. It's still relevant through epigenetic trauma and the past, present, and future. It's all happen simultaneously. I've been through that since I was a JIT. But your scientists can prove it to you now. How a lot of you need the logistics and proof. They can prove it to you now. 
How do you expect to go forward or backward in time without time traveling? It's still relevant. They pain, they blood curdling and screams. Still ripple throughout the universe. Them seeing their babies getting fed. The crocodiles, you stepping on a baby here fresh out the womb. You, you sleeping with his wife in front of him and doing that and castrating them. All the tactics and things you did. They, they sink that. It's still in the universe. You can go back in time and watch it happen. You got to go forward or backwards. I don't care what you believe. I know what to be what is. And I hear them. I know they want they get back. The difference is I'm worse than them. In a sense, they will probably believe in the eye for an eye. I believe in the eye for both of your ass because, bitch, you did it on purpose. <laughs> Down to, bro, we can't even control what we ingest in. Land, air, and water is control. Chemtrails, barium, particulates. The land. You ain't got a alloidal, alloidal title. Adal what, what's, what the fuck is it called? Alloidal title or something. Like, in all the things we don't know, and once more, you can't even control what you put in your temple, bro. The land, air and water, everything tampered with GMOs, fluoride water, down to the dye in your pants attacking you, being the largest organ on your body, your skin. You chemically imbalanced. There's people over the age 25 and their brain still underdeveloped due to all the poison they consume from your eyes, your ears. Media told you you ain't shit. You believe it. Therefore, you placebo yourself, you actualize, materialize, and manifest a fucked up reality for yourself, and you don't know how and where to begin with, how to start, or even how to read. I can't even blame you for it. It's not your native tongue. That ain't that still ain't two percent what I know. So it's like, bro, it's on all mad for you. You can be the greatest. Just know you can be a YouTuber. You're not you will never equate to a Mr. Beast due to how the programming that's already in people here. Hold on. Damn, why I keep the... Yeah, the programming that's already in people here, people already see what's deemed the norm. And they're just going to click on him by default because white is right and whatever, or they feel like that's what they resonate with more by default. You're not even going to get clicked on in the post. It's not equal. But at the same time, it ain't equal with us either. We don't need the suntan lotion. We don't need the melanoma pills. We're not having low fertility rates. We're the strongest and most dominant on the planet and everything. So it makes sense why the numbers is rigged. Down to it's you think people thinking for themselves, they not. You rigged that you got the installation in there. That's why it ain't fair. It'll never you ain't gonna see nobody equate to no Taylor Swift numbers or none of that. Like, nah. It's already set in stone. I see it all to be what it's what it is. But um, let me let him continue though. That ain't even two percent of what I know. And it's all relevant. You got the Asiatic community, rightfully so. They get to the hold on to that. It's important to hold on to it, to know your history so it don't repeat itself and keep it out there. Like, nope. And have things to protect them in place they should and then with the holocaust they but then when it comes to the indigenous and the aboriginal talking about when it's worse than everybody pain combined and elongated like and still relevant to keeping you back look at that bro just look at everybody numbers in comparison to, to the indigenous just look at it it's, it's different but i'm telling you you have to do a lot more on some crazy shit to even equate to like it's they born with the sentence to win because the people that control the media and the perception of lies, us and the light. Y'all get what I'm saying. I'm, I, I, breaking this shit down like this. Let's let's continue, though. Day on the news, you see a new black man die. You find out that the medical industry is against you. You find out that you're Planned from Parenthood. a nation that actually gives the world more. But you have yep. been conditioned to believe it doesn't. You taught these people how to be have cleanliness, take showers and all that shit. You taught you taught them everything, and look what they turned around and did to you. And then they somehow laughing at you like, "Hi, they acting like monkeys." I agree. A lot of indigenous Aboriginal people they don't know they stuff. They chemically imbalanced. They acting like monkeys. They got antigens on their blood. But I see it. They the residual effect of what you and your forefathers did and placed them in these communities. Well, not com it's not communities, it's projects. It's an experiment being conducted on them. And then they acting like this. But I see that. If you never existed, they would never be acting like these monkeys that you literally have in your genetic composition, being that 98.7 naturally violent chimpanzee and other different animals. So when I look at them, I'm like, brother, what the fuck is y'all doing? Like, so-called black, when I look at them like that, I still see you, because if you never existed, they'd never be like this. They'd still be in pyramids or something somewhere. So it still fall back on you. You place them in these projects. They chemically imbalanced. The antigens on their blood 
the epigenetic trauma, the curriculum that they started off with in school that fuck them over. You saying that this shot is going to make your kids stronger and better at birth when they give you the shot or whatever, and it break you down and they actually take from you because your genetics and your neuromelanin constantly evolving and then they inject theirs with to actually build them up and sustain life. Man, when you know what I know, bitch, I'll backhand a fuck out as a collective. But yeah, I still got to remain calm and I'm chilling or whatever. But again, stop letting these people call you black. Don't never let nobody classify you as such. You think your ancestors that's on the hieroglyphs, the most beautiful arts that's still here, that made the, that's on the hieroglyphs, you think they identified as black? Don't be ignorant, bro. Let's continue, though. You're made to be treated and viewed by media and even by the corn industry as nothing but blood, That's... sweat, and cock. And you're used for that. Believe me, I've been in a room full of men and women. That seems Again, to be... emphasis in, and check this. What I was referring to earlier, how the Yakuza, I think it was the Yakuza, was it Triads? It was nonetheless, Asiatic community. They eliminated you for trying to make a film depicting the people in a light that isn't in favor of them. They understand that perception is reality. And it's a double entendre, like with the biology and how the light hits you and what you're at. They understand it. So so-called black people need to get on their shit too and not allow these people to come out with 2B movies and all this bullshit and perceptionalize them. In a, I don't even think perceptionalize is a word, but it's going to be a word sooner or later in addiction. You get what I'm getting at. It's a word now. Let's continue. The only thing they seem to think. I always thought, I always thought, when am I ever going to get seen? And I realized, you know, what the, you know what the saddest thing is? That throughout my life, the men that have made Saad, who Saad is, black men. The men that, the men that had no one else to look up to, made a path for themselves and then gave this little boy something. I agree. What's my Mount Rushmore? I guess like I got <sighs> so many, so many of them. You got a Muhammad Ali, you got a Malcolm X. I mean, you got Asada Shakur, you got a Marcus Garvey. Bruce Lee made a big impact on me as well. He was, you can tell he wasn't of ignorance, chaos and conflict no matter the era that's that's all that shit is ignorance for real and i know he wasn't on that vibration at all like he was real life like a, a different breed so bruce lee in there and tupac okay it's so many of them for real like yeah i miss twelve fifty. <laughs> I've never had any beef or problem with black people. Never will. But it certainly hurts when I deep that. Because I'm always thinking about myself. I'm always thinking about, oh, my life's been hard, this, my life. And then I just stop and I think, Basad, look where you are. Look who got you there. And I ain't saying black people at the bottom. No way. But I'm saying we don't give them the, 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 the credit they deserve. And I will always say, ain't no brown person... Built me up to where I am today. No. I love my culture. I love my religion. But you... you and, and, and the world, you guys have witnessed. I love my culture. I love my religion. But who made me? Me? <laughs> no. No. Look, indigenous Aboriginal people, let me know what you think. To me, it ain't so much credit. I understand people already got their programming it's too late people are already molded and what they are you will never equate to their numbers and none of that it's going to take a, that generation literally the completely down from to be built without this thing still being pushed out and advertising you a certain type of way in order for it to really get equal and then when the show is really equal playing field you're going to surpass like no other but yeah it's not so much so credit with me it's you need to leave us the fuck alone that's the reason why the world didn't come together yet and bomb y'all ass. It's because they know the golden race here. The indigenous and aboriginal people. Take it a step further when we get into some shit that may sound wild. It's with the, the people all they 
presidents and and government officials meet up with extraterrestrial entities and all that so they they know what's going it's something going on they know what's going on but just know if the indigenous and aboriginal people weren't here in america with y'all everybody that you did something to all together would have attacked y'all ass all at once and got rid of you i hope you know that That's crazy. And they need you because your, your, your melanin is, is, is always evolving. Unlocking new DNA and everything. They need to keep tinkering with you to take from you, to build them up and the, the, the duck what you got going on and to see what's going on with you. And That's why them kids, 800,000 kids go missing annual. It's, they taking your blood. They, they taking your placenta. They, they literally need you, but the ignorant ones don't understand it. They biologists and scientists understand why they need you. Even down on some metaphysical like level two, when it comes to manifestation power in your biofield, your torus being bigger than theirs. It's so much you don't know that sound sound crazy, right? But just know. Let me know what y'all think. I th you may think, oh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki and them smiling. No, they still got sculptures and shit somewhere as a reminder of the depiction of literally what happened today, women and kids and men. I'm telling you, if they had the opportunity to, they would jump straight to your ass. I know I would. People believe in the eye for an eye. Not me. Everybody got to die, but I ain't everybody. I believe in the eye for both of your ass. I believe in if you knock my out, I, I get rid of your whole family tree. That's, what I, that's the price point I place my eye. So if you don't want no smoke, don't start it. Don't inhale it. Because then you can't feel no type way how that person react. I don't have to give you the opposite of equal reaction. I can take it tenfold and extend it to your loved ones. Deletion. Let's continue. Again, this is all for entertainment purposes only. I help make episodes for South Park and Caillou. Black people. I'm never doing this to like try and win black people over. They don't need to be won over. They won. I'm doing this because these are facts. These are this is the truth. This is the reality. Again, I'm tired of keep pausing, but indigenous Aboriginal do what the Yakuza and them did. They they stopped them. Death by a thousand cuts. Don't make no film about us in this light. Do the same thing because they ain't got no right to be doing it. They shouldn't be psychologically evaluating you. You literally a different species. You know how it's a zebra and a lion. You see a zebra telling a lion. What the, it's not the same. This shit don't make no goddamn sense, bro. You got to think. They're calling you black and they're calling them white. The good guy. They ain't calling nobody else yellow or orange. At the end of that, African-American, two continents. Then they said, oh, deport you. And you can't because we was already here. And our pyramids, hieroglyphs, obelisks, monuments, Romanus and all that still here with the depictions that look just like us on. And yet all your scientists and biologists all agree that you ain't been around no longer than six to seven thousand years. And you some call somehow come from the carcass mountain. Right? So get the fuck back because we've been here to anybody that say that you just ignorant and you stupid. <laughs> yeah, we need to stop that and stop letting them take your children every 30 to 40 seconds, bro. 20 to 30s, whatever. Stop letting them test and tinker with you. You got to get this shot. You got to get shot records and all. Stop letting them do that shit, bro. Because I know better. I ain't y'all. I know they ain't going to, they can't play with me like that. I know better. If it wasn't, if, if I never came across Muhammad Ali, I wouldn't be as confident as I am. And trust me, I'm confident. I can take any of you bums on. I'll fight you in the telephone booth. Me too. I wouldn't be as intelligent as a I comment am section warrior. I'll whoop your ass. Wouldn't be reading the books that King I King Dave. Learning the history. I learned about the Persian Empire because Malcolm X taught me to learn my history. How did I know that Shout my people were influenced by the Persians? Because I read, because I did what these men told me to. Never, never. And I'm, I'm blessed, I'm blessed that God blessed someone like Jordan into my life. Because he came out of nowhere. We always talk about angels, that they look white. Trust me, my angel was black and beautiful. Um, That's another thing. It still wouldn't equate to 2%. They enjoying the spoils of war. They are living and enjoying the convenience of your ignorance. 
for them to sit and have the finest fabrics and the best suits and a thousand suits and the best jewelry, the best females. They got all the money and shit they put in place in genocide to do so. They get to live heaven here on your earth. Not to the fullest extent because that sun, a motherfucker. Hotter than the summer sun. Melanoma, skin cancer, inflamed brains, low fertility rates. But yeah, they live in heaven on your earth. After you extended your hand and gave them the utensils to, to stab you in your back and... For them to drink their martinis and just plan and not have to do anything if they don't want to. They need a bunch of worker ants to make the things, transfer energy, put their time into this. And Damn. But knowing all this, bro, I'm telling you, when karma, karma been taking a while, but when it do wrap around... You're going to get every sip of this ass whooping. You know how you take that last sip in that soda can for granted or a water bottle? You're going to get every sip of this ass whooping. No ditty. And I look forward to it. I'm going to be drooling for the first time and eating like it's the last supper with Jesus and them. They live in heaven on your earth. And he had told you when you die, you can go to heaven. And they know that's some bullshit they bestowed upon you as well. They even entrap you with your religion, so they entrap you with your afterlife and life after afterlife. You're going to recycle through the moon. They got you in this life and what's next because you extended, you, you gave your power to some external source, your belief. And they told you Jesus was Caucasian. They tell you the angels Caucasian. And that automatically go against you even more. Like, man, I ain't shit. And you really believe it. And once more, you placebo yourself, actualize, materialize, and manifest that for yourself. And you don't know the science of physics of thinking something and feeling something about yourself. So you think something with the corresponding feelings and your actions reflect that as well of vice versa. But you don't know the science to that, bro. It's like it's out of your hands. It ain't even really your fault. Like, damn. That ass whooping gonna be crazy though that they get. I'm telling you, I don't f that forgiving shit. I forgive when I again. I told you I believe in the eye for both of your eyes if you did it on purpose. Once I get both of your eyes, then we can be straight. Get some straightening going on. I don't think you guys understand. Like they don't. Up, my father's an amazing man, but he wasn't there growing up. He wasn't there to like. He was. He was busy hustling. Who was looking after me? Who was raising me? Obviously, yeah, my older brother. But who raised my older brother? The black community. My brother was coming home every day telling me about the Black Panthers. About Asata Shakur. Michael Jackson, Prince. Learned a lot about Prince, about how he's a great guitarist. It was my first Halloween costume. I dressed up as the Prince. I remember my mum kept telling me to go, Ow! <laughs> Didn't know what it meant at the time. Um, Shout out Prince, man. But yeah. Down to that, your, your leaders, the Michael Jacksons and Prince, it's not no conspiracy. They really got rid of them, man. To try to help y'all. To try to help y'all. And they got rid of them for that, bro. Stay didn't do it so much. It's, it's, it's no return. Nothing can't fix it. No reparations, no money, no... You even created money. You cut it down at the trees to make this money. All that shit is stupid as fuck, bro. It's very low vibrational and dumb. Cut down some trees to make some paper money. Only people against nature. Killed the ocean. Got all your shit ceased in the Vatican. Notice, everybody on the planet got their language. Except for God's chosen people. They even stole that, and it's a group of people saying that they're God's chosen people. They stole your native tongue. Everybody else got their language. Korea, Korean, Japanese, Japan, Chinese, China, African, Africa. You the only, that's how you, bro, just know it's a difference between you and African. It's a, it's a difference. It's different. Just know it's a reason for that. It's the only language we don't know what a, where it's at. It must have the most manifestation power, etc. 
That's insane, though. Your whole identity stripped from you. Don't know what you is. Color, Negro, Black, African American, too. You owe them back for all that. Even, oh man, I can get into so many things. How people be like, if you don't do the crime, if you can't do the time, when you set it up for them like that, you set these rat, rat traps. You know you're most are going to fall into the rat traps and there's going to be a few that escape off and become famous or rich or a house Negro, etc. You know that it's already put in place. A lot of people falsely incarcerated simply just to maintain that numbers, the money. Because they, it's people in countries or whatever that's dependent on this money, the prison pipeline. Like that alone, just one person that's indigenous to Aboriginal, falsely incarcerated, how they feel and finna spend the rest of their life in there. And the inhumane conditions they in and all that about your people, bro. If I can snap my fingers like Thanos and y'all, I don't know what I know. About an hour from now. You will be reverting back to the Carcass Mountains. I understand it all. My best friend, the only person, the first person that told me she was proud of me, my grandma. Like, I understand who killed her. War crimes on humanity, right? The FDA approved this poison and stamp it as food and nutritious for the body and safe. And that's the reason why. And you think diabetes and all that is that word patent i know they can trademark things and get your video taken down when you say shit like that it's so fucked up i don't let me insert this this is for entertainment purposes only because i know certain words trademark so i gotta be light with that um yeah i understand that like who the enemy is y'all the reason for that that shit don't run in the family it's the diet and This shit still ain't 2% of what I know, bro. Y'all gotta get these. Y'all gotta get them back somehow, dog. I can't do it all myself. If I would, I could. I know I'm unlocking my door and my DNA. My skin been crystallizing since, crystallizing since two winter solstice ago. If I unlock my, my third helix, my, my 12 strands of DNA, I ain't gonna have to consult with nobody. I ain't consult with nothing. Not one single Black Panther, not Vladimir, even though I fuck with him, Prashu Prashimia. He showed you that Jesus and them was indigenous and aboriginal. Um, yeah, I unlock my powers. I'm not consulting with nobody. I'm whooping everybody ass that benefited off the spoils of war, that got the benefit off the convenience of a group of people's ignorance. Silent weapons for quiet wars. I'm talking, I ain't talking about no ass whooping and you recover like Devin Haney. No, I'm talking about deletion to a point that they had never even be able to prove that it was a speck of your essence ever even here on earth to begin with. Completely de delete you. YouTube, this is for entertainment purposes only. Let's continue. I, I, I think about this stuff a lot. and um... I do too. I realize, and I will always real. I will always know that who I am is nothing more than a build-up of black, beautiful people. And I know, and I, and I've realized one thing, and I've learned. I've learned how to cope with this, is that you want to know the communities that they hate me the most. White people hate me the most, but the community that uh, is gonna. They even got him. They got him saying black and then white. <laughs> For that too, I see it here too. And the ignorance, they don't know no better for the ignorance of this. If they knew what I know, if they knew what this word even mean when it comes to you identifying as that and you in courts and all that and how this shit go against you. For all that, man, it didn't take for all of it, bro. I told you, you're going to get every sip. You're not going to miss a drip, not one raindrop, not one tear. I want you to get it all. I don't let bygones be bygones. I don't believe in that shit. Once more, what I was saying earlier, they prove the past, present, and future is all happening simultaneously. That's how you time travel forward or backwards. So it's still relevant. And it always will it's be. It's my own community. And I've accepted that. Well, whatever. But it's like, it's incredible that like, I learned how to build up and develop that tolerance from the black community. Learn not to be shy, learn not to be scared, learn to look people in the eyes right there in the eyes and say, I am the greatest, I'm the prettiest as well. How pretty I am. 
<laughs> it's felt like a therapy session. I feel like I got a lot out, but um, I want to thank the black community, and I'm not just trying to thank you. I, 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 behind closed doors, there's a lot of stuff that I have planned to give back, and I hope I do it correctly, and I hope I do it beautifully, and I hope I do it respectfully. And I am gonna mess up, and I want you guys to call me out and correct me. But yeah, five minute run. I doubt anyone listened to it, but. Felt good to get it out. You know, how you give back is be a just person, a righteous person with codes, ethics, morals, principles, integrity, virtual. But they copied the Ten Commandments off of the 40, 42 ideals of Ma'at. Just be that. Don't impose your will on nobody else. Don't come to an area. It was perfectly fine and beautiful. And we meditating here. We come back the next morning. The trees chopped down and all that kind of shit you against nature and our genetic composition consists of everything natural and might have antigens on the blood due to what your forefathers did and but they're still until it's still in you as well you know how we got epigenetic trauma a feeling some type of way and we gotta undergo neuroplasticity and rewire our dna with affirmations with the corresponding feeling but we ain't got the time to because we bombarded by so much attacks everything it's relevant in you as well if you still wanting to victimize the victims your fetishes, your bestiality, your Rome Empire-like tendencies and propensities and actions, backstab and weasel. Yeah, how you pay back the indigenous or aboriginal It's not impose your will on no one else and be a righteous person. You've seen the book of Eli. Strive to be that yourself, and then you will help everybody else invertly. Um... Yeah, and these people got to stop making these 2B movies and depicting us in the light. They shouldn't be allowed to do that at all. That should rip your fucking head off at that point. Let me know what you think. I don't know what I'm going to title this video. Hell, what he see? I doubt if anyone clicks it, for real. This kind of shit don't be the one that get the... Um. Yeah, let me know. Put something else in the comment section that I didn't speak on. I, I will be talking too fucking long if I run down this long ass laundry list of what these people did and we still is just mainly us here black and white so called and then people on the outskirts it's a fucked up game of chess and monopoly and I see it in the cards dealt if we was never here people all the mother would have came together and, and, and I'm a Tadatsu they would have they would have got rid of them bro just know them Hiroshima and Nagasaki you can have friends and all that but just know the core of them and with they little sculptures up, but a female breast that got cut off and you pour kerosene in her set on fire before you raped her, no. Just know they want they get back and they entitled to it. Karma isn't wrong, I believe, in good karma as well as bad. May you get what you've done. Shit. Some of y'all born rich and you born with the luxury to so-called go and die in a $400,000 underwater submarine. Some of my people born in the trenches, bro, believe they ain't shit and they manifest that and they end up in jail by your construct. And that shit's still in their veins and they can't scratch that shit out. They disgusted. They don't know no better. And then I got to watch out for them. Knock one of they hit my... I got to watch out for them because of what you did to them. Like, man, I see it all for what it is, man. It's a fucked up game of chess. You got the... And then we right here, like, the... If we was never here, bro, you know what everybody else would have been did to this country, bro? <laughs> they didn't talk to the aliens or some shit you don't believe in made deals and packs and all let the lead go and race alone and all. some shit ha ha some shit has happened and still is happening just know it's ongoing but it's we're gonna wrap this shit up soon just know guys if we was never here how they be saying go back when you never was from there all your shit is in the Grand, Grand Canyon is everywhere you native everywhere indigenous and aboriginal everywhere but yet they say go back when they come from the car and they, they saying that. It's just they populace saying that. But they scientists and biologists like, no, they know why they need you. It's just they dumb, the, the, the dumb NPCs, the regular NPCs, they don't know why for real. They don't, or some of them do probably, and they just lying to themselves. But just know if we was never here, man, they would have, what they did to everybody would have jumped straight to their ass, bro. Already. It would have been happening. Vladimir would have been, would have been pressed a button. That's it for this video. This is all for entertainment purposes only. I help make episodes for South Park. 
don't forget to like the video if you like the video comment share subscribe turn on post notifications deal me the link via x formerly known as twitter let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about follow me on twitch kick and rumble before we start rumbling i kick your ass and you end up twitching how up man just know i believe in the eye for both of your ass bitch just because i smell with you <laughs> I still know. And my ancestors, I still hear them. I know they want they get back. And we gonna get it back, bitch. I'll see you in the next, in the next video, man. I'm out.